Hi right, guys, welcome back to You Tested It, right? Uh, and we're going to go help Saeed. Long clips. Switch to another weapon. Alright, what does he even get? Disruptor ammo, inferno grenade, concussion shot. I don't even know what the fuck. Just bring the Krogan along. I don't give a fuck, dude. Alright, we got two points here, 18 points here, one point here. Alright. What does Disruptor ammo do? Rip through uh, shields. Alright. Well, we might as well just give him everything. Even though I think none of this will really help. Actually, honestly, I think none of it will help at all. Let's just go into these. So, his damage or his other stuff. Fine, weapon damage. Let's do that one. And let's say, let's say super concussive shot. Because why not? Uh, bone crushing force or uh, large impact radius. Okay, we're going to go with, he's going to become my one shot wonder. And what does he have for weapons? Viper sniper rifle. I don't know when I got give him that, but whatever. And I don't think I really care about what other shit he has. Alright, let's go. So we have to go liberate workers from Blue Suns. Blue Suns communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. So what, what was the deal with this guy's story again? This is the problem. They give it to me like at the beginning of the game and then like I come back to it later. Squad Bravo. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. I want to investigate dead bodies though. Shot in the back and left to rot. Definitely veto style. Let's push ahead. What? Oh, my, it actually put away my gun because it recognized it as a friendly. I just saw him like jerk his gun away. I wasn't able to kill the indigenous life forms. Look at this. There we go. I killed it. Why am I not allowed to kill indigenous creatures of every planet? Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure those were in the first game. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. I'm, I'm so glad that these tree roots count as convenient cover. Sure, let's go switch both their guns. On it. All right, come on, Zaid. Alright, they came behind me here too. Alright, well, they, they got the little robotic doggy here. Zaid, you crazy fuck! What are you doing? I know, wait, wait, since when do those guys have flamethrowers? Alright, Zaid has the sniper rifle, it's not my... It's not my fault he's a fucking idiot and just kind of ran out on, onto a fucking box for no apparent reason. Ah, uh, she's a heavy. She doesn't look that heavy, but you know. Alright. I mean, what do I know? I'm not the I'm not the mercenary with years of experience. Try to see if I can cause any problems here. Doesn't look like I can. You win this round, Gin. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Now get the hell back out there. 
Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. There is the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Alright. So Zaid may have some deep and seated, like, fucking personal issues. Oh. Uh, some, re some reason I thought I'd be fighting. Apparently I wasn't fighting. Zaid Masani. You finally tracked me down, Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are, again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I want to know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead? Then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. I was gonna look at something. All right. Nothing can hurt me. I'm Gucci. Got oh, plus six renegade, as if I need more of it. Willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Okay, so I'm supposed to save them, and then I can still probably kill Vito anyway, so. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If 
we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Uh, what do we do? Fuck. Yeah, 17 Paragon. Damn. I'm a goody two shoes. I mean, I still have a save from the beginning, so even if this is a big mistake, it's kind of not a mistake, so. Nice. All, that's all we're gonna do. Uh, salvage that. Get some money for it. Okay. It was just some like 2D fires. Like, the fuck. I guess we'll go the slightly less convenient path. Oh, uh, wait, you gotta get palladinium or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Heavy pistol research. This is valuable. Oh, look, we get heavy weapon ammo too. Which I thought I already had it max, but okay. Alright, so now we stop Vito San Diego. Santiago, sorry, whatever. Oh, they even let us uh, get the workers out. So that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. So they kind of want you to be a nice guy. Alright, here we go. Fuck's this. This should come in handy. Did I just fucking get a flamethrower? You're fucking kidding me. All right, this is a piece of shit. Too late. Now you're dead. Yeah, too late. Now you're a meme. Give me a fucking flamethrower. All right, well, let's get rid of this real quick. Fucking flamethrower. So we're coming to put the cane back on. Fuck, that's how much. That's how much I'm, I'm triggered now. Go to fucking put that on. How dare you even give me a fucking point throw, man? The game should have known better. Fucking can't have unlimited sniper ammo, but you can have a flamethrower. Fuck you, game. I somehow knew. That would be a guy with a flamethrower. Why is that guy still talking? Oh. Glad he was just he was just standing out here, you know? With the pipes and all that. That's where this guy was. Oh, is that a fucking flamethrower thing that you're supposed to avoid or something? So it's because I'm in this one, this is now not spotting anything. But they all come from like the same fucking place all the time. Ah, uh, this one? It doesn't really do a whole lot of damage, I won't lie. 
Oh my god, there's no fucking ammo anymore. See what I mean? They just keep respawning. This guy's gonna just have a bit of a jiggle. I'm so glad they added these ammo systems. Oh good, there's some ammo here, which I can't pick up. Did you die, Zaid? Fucking Zaid. When will he learn? Or I have unlimited SMG ammo. You know, your mechs are not very good if you can just die by by this shit. Alright. I mean, it's really not, actually. I think we're, I think we're fine. Just over-exaggerating everything. And look, oh look, there. what was there, like, five guys that came from this fucking place? It's just literally an empty room with nothing in there, nice. At least put, like, a, like a locked door, you know? Make it believable. Alright, we're supposed to go that way, so we're definitely gonna go this way. You know, piss off, uh... Our friends some more. Alright, well, this is another spawn room. We have had quite enough of those. Oh, uh, we need a bit more ammo, so luckily it's just lying around here. Doesn't seem to be very forgiving with the ammo right now, so... Alright. I feel like the theme of this level is fire. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it's there. Alright, these, these spawn rooms are f super fucking bad. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I thought I heard a noise, but I didn't. Just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you're burning it. Yeah, screw you. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You're a madman, Zaid. But I need a certain amount of crazy if I'm gonna stop the Reavers. You could have figured that out before you let Vito get away. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait, that actually fucking ended it? Uh oh. What the hell? Uh. Interesting. I don't think he's loyal now. Yeah, he's not loyal now. What the fuck? Uh, interesting.
Yeah, he didn't gain loyalty. Okay, well, I, as I said, luckily we did save it before that, because I've, I've never done that, so I was just following what... Uh, yeah, it's done. I'm going to look into the potential consequences of this, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I looked it, I looked it up a little bit, because I had to read into it, because I didn't want to really spoil myself for the mission. I just had... I just had this guide, and it basically said to get the, like, the, usually it's the best possible outcome. It doesn't always tell you, like, oh, go Renegade, go Paragon. It just basically goes, like, to keep everybody alive to the very last game, you do these things, right? And I think this one is one of those one that's sort of wrong or something. Because he basically says in the, his little guide, it's just a footnote, it says, save the refinery workers... Uh, and then convince Zaid to stay with the Paragon or Renegade uh, uh, action or something. Uh, so clearly there was some sort of problem here because I didn't get a Renegade option for that. Um, I do get heavy weapon ammo for that, uh, which would be nice. But we don't secure his loyalty, which is honestly more important to me. Um, fuck the ammo. Screw that shit. So we are going to restart... Uh, Zoya, so I'm just gonna play through it again until that point, and then, uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. Cause, like, I, yeah, that's, it's weird, but we'll, we'll see the other outcome, I guess, won't we? Um, I probably should have saved it there, too, but we didn't do that, so whatever. So let me, let me, let me play back. Let me play back, dude. Alright, guys, we're back at the door here. Let's see what happens. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! Help! No! Alright, so there you go. We did the other action now. So we skip out on that, um... Uh, on that heavy ammo now. Where are we now? Okay. Blue Sun's Pyro, no. Pyrus. Well, what's this? No, we get assault rifle damage for this instead. The fuck, you guys were not spawned here before. It's funny because it doesn't seem like that much of a detour over last time, but it's an interesting way way of getting like both missions in, I guess, or both sides in. I, I just don't have the uh, I don't have the Paragon points for uh, convincing him to stay. These are all fucking worthless. Nothing can hurt me. So ironically, we actually have all the time in the world, and I and I do feel like this is like taking slightly longer than the other one. Uh. 
but who might argue with video games, guys? Oh, good, they're screaming. Yeah, this took like the same amount of time, basically. And now we're back over here, so... You guys have already seen this encounter, like, it's... I think it's the big-ass room. Uh, so, yeah. What an amazing weapon. It almost killed me using this thing. Besides killing me on the inside. All right, so if anything's different, I will. Okay, definitely want to. Don't want to cloak with this thing on. Okay, so if anything's different from now on, I'll show you. But uh, I think we're just gonna skip all over to the end of this place. game, easy life. I had to actually do the entire thing. I had to wait for the respawns to go out on this bridge, retract it, and then the bot came over, and then we were able to continue. So, this is the renegade version, where everything burned to death. Guys, don't look at explosions. All right, well, I—it's I, interesting. So we don't get the heavy weapons ammo, which is what I actually would have really wanted. But it's one of those really weird things, I guess. I I don't know man. I I'm going to look more into it actually after the break, but we'll see. Those are both the possible endings that you can get. Like I what at what point was I supposed to have really high renegade? That's my uh that's my kind of weird factor with this. I don't know man. I'll look into it. Anyways, uh, see you later guys. Bye.